Hello everybody, Mr. Bright Guy here on Scarangle. Scarangle plays uh, Pokemon Shield, the crowned Tundra. And they say in the last episode, <laughs> we capture Galarian Zapdos and the other two are flying around in the other pieces of Galar. So, I think it's... Moltres? Oh no, Moltres? Yeah. Moltres is at the Isle of Armor island, whereas Mol uh, Articuno is actually around this area. I think he's near the the Crown Shrine area. Unless you have to actually like follow him and see where he goes. But what we're gonna do first is capture Moltres. Galarian Moltres. He is a flying and dark type form whereas the Zapdos one was fighting and flying oh and by the way I managed to get a Reggie Drago from the Global Trade Center he is yeah he is pure dragon he has some very high base stats in HP but uh, yeah, he looks like he's a bit equal on special attack and attack. He has a signature move called Dragon Energy. Converting its life force into power, the user attacks the opposing Pokemon. The lower the user's HP, the lower the move's power. Oh, so that's why his base stat is so high on HP. <laughs> it, like, it, like, makes it up for that HP power. So he's probably, like... I want to say the third or fifth highest Pokemon in HP stats. Uh, Glacier. I did manage to split them. If you go to your bag, you do have the Reigns of Unity in your key items here. You can just use this item and hit it on Calyrex and a horse of your choice. So it's pretty much the exact same as, um... Black Kyurem and White Kyurem, and also, um, Sun and Moon Necrozma, so to speak. You just use a certain item, and, like, fuse both of them together. So, now that we're at the Isle of Armor again, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been a while since we last saw this. Or, it's been since, like, last playthrough since we saw this. Turns out that uh, Galarian Moltres is flying around here, so we gotta go find him. I was supposed to actually record yesterday to, like, finish this uh, playthrough off quickly. But for some reason, when I just woke up and did my Mario Kart Tour needs and the uh, Pokemon Go stuff for Halloween... I felt like a sudden jolt on my left shoulder, and it kind of, like, sprained it. <laughs> like, I, like, sprained my left shoulder, and it it hurt for, like, all day yesterday. So, I pretty much did almost, like, nothing yesterday. Except for, like, make dinner and all that, like... And played some, uh, Overwatch, and... My sister's friends are actually introducing me to Pixelmon, which is a Minecraft mod. It's actually the one that, um... It's actually the mod that A-Drive uses. I don't know if you see his YouTube channel. He's like... He's probably the most popular shiny hunter in the world. Or on YouTube. And... He... He was playing, like, Pixelmon to hunt for shinies there, too. <laughs> And that's, and that's exactly what I'm going to do once I'm done with this playthrough, and also... Oh, hey, Pikachu. Um, that is what I'm going to do with um, my streams when I start getting back. Once I'm done this playthrough and all the Animal Crossing games. Except maybe Amiibo Festival. I'm going to do that once my sister gets here. Moltres should at least be around here. I'm gonna have to, like, search across the entire island to find him. Oh, there he is. 
I, I guess he like starts off at the beginning. I'm gonna have to go catch him. He's actually kind of fast, just like uh, Zapdos. Maybe he's gonna like stop at some sort of island or something. Unless he like lowers himself, I don't know. Oh, that's a, that's actually not a good way. Um, and I have to go back to the beach. I have to remember too. Oh no, he's going to the big field. I have to remember too that um, I'm gonna have to catch or find at least fifteen Galerica twigs. If I want to get a Galerica Wreath, which is exactly the item you use to evolve Galarian Slowpoke into a Slow King. And I think I have like more than five right now. He is just gone. Hmm. Does he like fly around the entire islands? Because there's no way of catching him from behind. You would probably have to, like, catch him from the front. Yeah, he's flying around the Tower of Water right now. I'm gonna, like, watch his movements from the beach. Because there's no way I can, like... There's no way I can, like, catch him on water. I, I just have to see if he comes out of that pass. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy. Here he comes. No, Chutel, come on. <laughs> Chutel, what are you doing? Oh my god, you're interrupting me. I know I'm trying to shiny hunt you, but leave that for another time, okay? It's Moltres that I want. And I don't actually care if it's a shiny, if, if it's not a shiny right now, it's just, it's just for content here. Alright. Moltres. He actually, his animation and his model look so fucking graceful. I actually really like this design of Moltres. So, let's try Waterfall. It knows Hurricane. <laughs> whoa, 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 <laughs> Wee! Oh, okay. Hmm. Now, I don't know if there are any other Pokemon that uh, can weaken him, except I have Zapdos here. Uh, ugh. Sure, maybe we, maybe we use Drill Pack. Nasty plot. <laughs> Aha! I has ten idea. Yeah, hopefully Drill Peck doesn't do very much. Or... Ooh, Sucker Punch. Then that just leaves his signature move. Oh! Really? I think he's at one. Also, he has the ability Berserk. It looks like. And thankfully, it's not hailing. So, we're good. <laughs> we're good here until it just randomly dies by struggle. Nope. It's using Hurricane. It, it has yet to use Fiery Wrath. Right. Let's, uh, yeah, no, not Calyrex. How about Regieleki? I, I find it kind of odd that this Pokemon is actually a Reggie in the family. It's actually the tiniest of the, of the five. Oh, Fiery Wrath. I think that's supposed to be a dark type move. Um, it's like around over three feet, but it's like the fastest Pokemon 
in the world now. It actually, like, I've heard from my friend's Discord, and they said it actually outspeeds speed form Deoxys. And that's crazy. It, it has a base stats of 200 speed. So you have to find, like, some sort of move that... Have to find, like, some sort of move that benefits that speed. <clears throat> I'm actually starting to wonder, if I lose all my Pokemon and then go to the nearest Pokemon Center or person, will it actually stay there? And will it ha will it still have that health? That's what I want to know. Also, you know what I just you know what I should have give Calyrex like a sleeping move, like maybe Hypnosis would have worked. Wait, suck! Oh right, Sucker Punch only works if your opponent is wanting to do an attacking move. Hey, let's go. That was easy. Galarian Moltres is caught. <laughs> no, all that leaves is Galarian Articuno. Oh yeah, it doesn't even show the dex entry because I already registered the original three. Yeah, he's just gonna tell his spiel that I just caught the Pokemon and then try and go find the other Pokemon. But let's go check its uh, Pokedex entry here. Um, Moltres. Oh, that's right. I got a shiny regular Moltres at some point. There are stories of this Pokemon using its radiant flame cloaked wings to light up paths for those lost in the mountains. Now it's Galarian form. Yeah. See, look at its like wing animation for the original one. It looks like it's using its whole wing as like, as like a fan, but then when you see Galarian Moltres, it's like, it's like a wave. I think that's probably why I like this one better. It is the exact same height, except this one is heavier. It is a malevolent Pokemon. The sinister aura that blazes like molten fire around this Pokemon is what inspired the name Moltres. It even has that kind of texture that's like, you can see flames coming out of it. Well, now all that leaves is uh, Articuno. The Freeze Pokemon. This Pokemon can control ice at will. Articuno is said to live in snowy mountains riddled with permafrost. Bah. Oh, pardon me. Looks like the only one missing in my Pokedex besides Magmortar is Spectrier. And it seems to me like I'm not gonna ever get to that point when I get that horse before finishing this playthrough. Like, the only thing that rewarded me when I completed the Olive Armor Pokedex was just a certificate. Which, in fact, if I go to my pictures, it's right here. Uh, we hereby certify your achievements of completing the Isle of Armor Pokedex. Yeah, that's, a, <clears throat> that's, a, that's exactly what happens when I finished it after. I'm just still looking up through Pokemon Home on my phone, which you can do the training for. Trading, not training. And it seems like people don't want my shiny Golem and Beedrill. I'm requesting them for... Legendaries here. Even my spare Urshifu. And it looks like people don't want it. But I did see a video. Yeah, I, I'm gonna bring the mic closer. I did see a video where you can actually get both versions of Pokemon at the exact same game. Just by, um, here. You see your different profiles here. See, here's mine, here's my girlfriend's, and here's a guest page. For, like, if anybody 
who wants to use my Nintendo Switch can use the guest page. Um, you can use as you can use one version of the Pokemon in your own file, like your Brian's page, and you can catch the other versions of the Pokemon in another file. So, like for example, the guest page. But I guess for these Pokemon alone, you have to at least be Pokemon Champion to get them. Especially Calyrex. So, like, if I do this on my Brian file, I can get, like, Regieleki and Glacier. But if I want to get the other two, I can go to the Guest Page file and get Spectrier and Regidrago. Otherwise, I'm going to have to use the Global Trade Station for that. So, anyways. Got Moltres, so... The only thing that's left now is Articuno. Oh, and, um... <laughs> why is Regieleki a thing? Why, why is it, like, super fast, though? I had to go and heal. Oh, yeah, that's right, um... Remember when I saw Cobalion last uh, last time? I have to go and see Sonia to register the footprints for the other two. Because after the after that recording session the other day, I went and explored all of the Crown Tundra to get the other footprints, like Terrakeon and Verizon. And it actually turns out that you can also get Keldeo in this game if you get all three of them. So, about the evidence, I got Cavern Pokemon at 100%, and Grassland. So then that means Terrakeon and Verizon are going to be available across the island. <laughs> just the vibrations, just checking up on our phone. There's one in Lakeside Kid, and one in Giant's Bed. Okay. So that's just all the evidence we have for that, for those three Pokemon, but seeing as I already have those Pokemon here, I'm going to actually, like, do something here. Three IVs, Berserk. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to think about something here. I'm going to put them here, put Zapdos in. Man, I, I really love the updated sprites they did on this game, but it's not for, it's not for, like, every single one of them, which is kind of odd. So, I forget what was, what was like, after him, like, Urshifu, Sarud, and then Regieleki. Okay.